Boy, I am going to make this simple for you. Really simple. You give me the name of the one you work for. I spare your life. And the lives of your family members. You try to be stubborn and stupid. And then I'll kill you. And take the life of everyone close to you. So you see, it's really simple. The ball is in your court. You have monopolized the city for a long time. And in your down, the point on the ground. One cannot confirm or comprehend. Give me how you can on the hockey. Of course I know that you work for that sleaze bag that calls herself Adam Sharon. Because I am a duke of this town. But you're going to tell me where to find. I'm just dead and to die. But you're closer to her than I am. Welcome, madam. Thank you, Chief. You're welcome. Thank you. You see, sorry, sorry, not the property in question, the one you're talking about. Somebody is interested and just left here not quite long and is willing to pay. Are you talking about um, uh, the guy called Clifford Audrey, right? Can I tell you something? He's a poor man. He's a wretched poor man. I will double. Whatever he was offered to pay, how much? 220 million naira. And it's not any other money. I'll give you 255 million naira. And to tell you how serious I am, if you agree to give me the property, I will call my account officer right away and we'll do the transfer. <laughs> So this is it, eh? I see what is going on here. Chief. So this right here is the reason you dropped the phone on me before I could make you understand what exactly I was proposing. You see, before that property, I'm not ready to sell it any longer. Of course you're willing to sell. Just that you feel that this penniless tout here would make you a better offer. Let me ask you. How much is she offering you? 255 million. And as a businessman, I, I want you to understand that I need to make profit. Oh yes, of course I understand that. But I also hope that you understand the risk of betrayal and broken promises. Because I, Clifford OG, would not forgive you. Oh, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth and stop whining like a baby. Chief did not betray you. He's a businessman just like you and I. And no business can be conducted successfully without funds. You are the one queer street. Three hundred million. Three hundred and fifty million. What do you think you're doing? 
show up here to cause chaos. You challenge me in my own town. Do you not think that you're making a big mistake? I don't make mistakes. You are the one making a mistake. Not to realize that this is the dawn of a new government. A duke who goes to land to allow cobblers in all. Isn't that an empty duke? Mm -mm. Like I said before, you are making a mistake. <laughs> and it is going to cost you. People, oh, that property belongs to me. And I decided who I sell it. And at this point, I have decided to sell that property to the Sharon. You heard him? Take your book, Alex, while I still have. Oh yes, I had him. And I shot the both of you. But I'll be back. <laughs> I will show you that I am the Duke of this town. I run this city. You just live here. <laughs> sorry, sorry, madam. Sorry for that. Sorry. 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 She is big, she is strong, she got the money, she got the power. Who's gonna test her? Are you okay? She is big and strong, can't you see? Did she ask questions? Did she ask questions? That is the thing that should have come to my town and mess with me. Huh? Chief should have told her that someone is interested in the property. Oh, please just shut up! You ever do anything right in your life? I'm asking you, if you had done proper background check, I would not have been dragged into this kind of situation. Big bro, I did. I did. I was shocked at what happened today because it was just yesterday they put up that property for sale. Imagine the humiliation you have just given. So brother, I'm not your enemy. Don't tell me to calm down. That boy has never done anything right in his life. You are dragging me into his mess. Right into his mess to mop it up. Well, that's what brothers do for themselves. I don't care. Imagine the kind of humiliation that boy put me through today. Some woman from nowhere shows up here thinking that she can run this town. <laughs> I have news for her. Jonah! Boss. Come here. I want you to dig that woman up. Huh? Dig everything up. I need you to tell me where she lives, who she works with, who works for her, her close associates, everything. I want you to go as far as digging up her bank profile. Kaimalikenego noji. Let's know how much she's worth. Huh? Do you understand what I'm saying? That idiot thinks that she can come into my town, dance on my nose, and then balance well. Ajure say, but I am going to show her that I am the king of this city. My name is Clifford Oji. I run this town. Every other person just lives here. Get the info. 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 Introduction. Introduction. They call me. 
run this town and run and not be told these such a shots. Max, why is you sit there? Wifey, I want to ask you a question. Okay. Am I so despicable that my brother cannot see anything good in my effort? Max, you are not despicable. As a matter of fact, you are smart and intelligent. That's how I see you. Your brother may not see you like that, but trust me, I do. And I want you to see yourself as such. So why? Why does he always see me as a man without ability? Is it my fault that the business collapsed? Is it my fault that the owner of the property decided to sell it to someone else? How is this my fault? Shh. It's okay. None of this is your fault. Okay? And I need you to know that. How I wish my brother is a little bit like you. You're an angel. Max, your brother is a good man. I understand him and I know he hates to lose. Okay? Don't worry yourself, he's going to come around. Until then, just go in, get yourself some drink. I think you'll feel better. <laughs> <laughs> I know you love alcohol, but that's what makes you happy. Nina, you need to help James run that self-imposed duke out of this city. He has monopolized the drug racket for too long. It's time for a change. Lady S, there's only one way I know we can work this out. What do you have in mind? First of all, we need to target his end-to-end -end market. That's the locals. Hmm. Oh, that is good. Very good. But as long as we don't make any mistake, as long as we don't, you know, get ourselves into a trap, you all know Clifford OJ. You know the kind of man that he is. We make any mistakes, he will get us down. He will hunt us down. He will take us down. Yeah, I understand. Having secured the local markets, next is the brothel. And um, Clifford Orgy controls 70% of it. His charges to these girls are extremely high and alarming. If any of them complains, they'll disappear overnight. Lady yes. Um. I think if we secure two spots each in the city, Clifford Orgy will be seriously rattled. And the truth is, um, this city is long overdue for change. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm not, I'm not here for a change. I'm not the Messiah. I'm here to have my business grounded and rooted. I'm here to take over this city. And uh, I will take out and root out anything that will stand as an obstacle to my being, you know, the dawn. And Clifford Orchie is an obstacle to my bouncing back and taking this city. Then, we'll take him down and make you the lord of the underground of this great city. 
let the games begin. Let the let the Cheers to the new dawn of this city. <laughs> the arrival of Lady Sarah. Drink, drink up. <laughs> We were at the bar, so he had a little excess of alcohol. I had to drive him back. Oh my god. A little excess of alcohol or a lot of alcohol? Um, sir, it's not. So Allow the young man, let him stand on his own. Stand straight. Oh my god. If you're not sober enough to go to your room, by yourself, I am going to hit you again. Honey, oh, that's rather too harsh. What if you injured him? If you make khaki, let me drive to my home. What key? Oh my god, I don't think. <coughs> Max, please just. Um, uh, okay. I'll, I'll take my leave. That's okay. That's rather too harsh. Now, know, what's too I... harsh is that idiot. Wasting my money on women and alcohol. Now that's money that I worked very hard for. And what's inappropriate is how you try to shield him and protect him all the time, in spite of himself. Why do you do that? Really? Oh my God. Ah, wifey. Good morning, wifey. Good morning to you. And hope you feel better this morning. Yeah, I'm much better this morning. Good. I'm sorry for yesterday. Well, you shouldn't be apologizing to me. You should tell that to your brother because he's really mad at you. I owe my brother no apology. Yes. Do you think I've forgotten that he hit me yesterday? 
whereas he was the one that pushed me outside. He made me drink. When he believes nothing good comes from me. Um, I know that, but I want you to know your brother wants the best for you. Yes, Don't you ever forget that. Okay? So, have you had something to eat this morning? No. Okay, I'll fix you something. All right. <laughs> Good night. Uh, I trust you. side. Yeah. 
just when we catch this guy, we rub it left eye for you. Isika, I'm more again in the call. My pick the call. Pick the call now. I'm more. Which I go tell this guy. I'm more this thing time you. Guy, on how we be, we go tell him the truth, cause he go still know. Guy, guy. Hello. Ojo, what the heck are you talking about? What do you mean? I I don't understand. You mean your ghosts are are still with you? Ojo, you of all people where I know very well, yeah? They sell Kia Kia under three days. You don't sell your goods, finish. This one where you come, they tell me, say, your goods still there. I know, I know, buyer. Nothing, boss. Take your goods and go. I still get other goods to sell. Uh-uh. Ojo, you know you're lying, yeah? And where they pay me pass, they say na me, na me you they like give Ojo. <coughs> um, Ojo, Ojo, listen now, listen. If you're not in need of our consignment any longer, why not man up? Man up and tell us, why are you behaving like a baby? Are you scared of something? Now nah, you Ojo, me I go tell them oh. Guy, I calm, go tell. Guy, calm down. What's up? Calm down. Oga, on how we be. Your goods now nah, they on a high price. And I see they like this, we don't see who they give us on a smaller price. And I see be like that and I dare a day. Uh, who be that person where they give you on a cheaper level? Nah, nah, I make I come they tell you, make you come more food for my mouth. Ojo, me, I don't come all here. Ojo? Ojo? <clears throat> you know, what are we gonna do now? Very soon the Duke is gonna be shouting here. Yeah for the downflow in business. This is serious. Nigga, there is no two ways about it. We just head home and tell him the truth. Mm. All right? Over us. I don't understand. Is there a reason I shouldn't be? This is five years since we got married. And I've not been able to have a child. Yet you are so unbothered, so relaxed. Why are you this comfortable? Oh, don't you want to have a child? Women. <laughs> I'll tell you something, my darling wife. The difference between your gender and mine is that we're logical. And you all are very emotional. I am comfortable because this is not a fight or a battle that you win with strength. Huh? A child is a gift from God. A child is something that you are blessed with by Mother Earth and all of the cosmic forces that works with it. When it's our time to be blessed with a child, we shall be blessed with one. Hmm? 
You have to come with me to the hospital. We need to find a solution. It's not even like our sex life is active. You don't have this drive to make out with me despite I'm your wife. I am worried. Um, can we talk about this later? Huh? I have business to attend to. Business? Can't it at least wait till I'm done talking? No, my darling wife, it cannot wait. Call the doctor, fix an appointment with him, and I promise that I will show up, okay? And as for sex, a great joke I know a lot. You want us to have plenty of sex. I got a lot. Tonight, I shall make love. Sweet love to you, my darling wife. Uh, shh. It's okay. Where is the money? Where is Ogana? Okay, Ogana is I am sorry to say this, but we have run out of market. People are saying that someone else is supplying them the same. Draw dog used to supply them at the half profits. I am, I am very sure that they are very afraid of this person because I have done everything within my powers to make sure they tell me who the supplier is but they block into the accused. Yes, Duke. He is right. We are slacking in fishing out this person. We need to up our game. Only one individual. Only one individual would choose to be so irresponsible and callous enough to come into my domain and try to mess with my business. Lady Sharon. I think so too. Dudu, what do we do? What do we do? We fight. We fight. War is the only thing that makes a warrior stiff in where he hears the drums of war. When he is forced to assume the very nature of a tiger, to take down everything standing in its way. But you, Duna, your incompetence has made that woman powerful. I give you a simple assignment. Find out who she is, where she lives, who she works with. Dig up her account details. I want to know how rich or how broke she is in real terms, but you have failed. And then you come here to tell me how a woman that you have made powerful is killing my business. I will not continue to tolerate 
an incompetent member of my team. Give me the information that I want. Or you risk the possibility of facing my wrath. Get the info, get the info. Introduction. Introduction. They call me Clifford or Clifford. I run this town alone and London, not with London, all these such a condition. This is my town, whether you like it or not. I am the mayor. Get the info. Does he know where the bait is coming from? Not that all. Soon, he will be out of business. Then we can return to the Even a little bit higher, very soon you will have no rival in the rackets. Yet, you all still need to be on guard. Clifford is not a pushover, he's smart, he's cunning. And he's gonna try to fight back, bite back and take over the market. But you need to be on guard, tight in security, and be on alert, always. Roger that, Lady S. Yes. Sure. Okay. Clifford is not concerned about this. And he has never for one day asked why. Okay, Priscilla, why are we unable to have a child? And any moment I try to bring it up, he tries to shush me up. And you think I shouldn't be concerned? Oh yes, my darling, you should be worried, I know. But for the fact that you both have been to the hospital and the doctor said you both are medically fit to have children, my darling. Calm down now, eh? The Clifford I know loves you and you love him. Don't forget, you're still very young and pretty. So as time goes on, you'll have your children. You're not getting it. I'm not saying I'm too old to have a child. But my major concern is he wouldn't even take the drug the doctor prescribed for us. He practically said no to it. You know, that's the area I really don't understand about Clifford. But my dear, if you ask me, like I said, you don't get to be worried now, eh? You and I know Clifford loves and cares about you. So you should calm down. Or, oh, wait a minute. Is there something I don't know? Is there something you're not telling me? Girl, I'm not disputing he loves and cares about me, but I'm worried. 
Okay, what if his people start to ask questions? And you know this part of the world, women get to be blamed for everything. And I don't want that. Girl, I'm very worried. I need to do something. If you really want to have a child, trust me, I may have a solution. You are you were going to try it out. <clears throat> hey. Since you already know all this, then why are you worked up? My girl, you should be happy and relaxed, trust me. <laughs> all this belt that my husband has amassed, and there's no one to inherit them, it's not God. I know. Hello, Her Majesty. Hi, Max. Hi. Hi. Where have you been? I have been around. Your beauty keeps glowing. Every day. Thank you. But you actually left this house since four days without communicating. You couldn't even call nor test. Why would you do that? I owe you an apology first. But later, I will give you the full gist. But not now. Because you have a guest. <laughs> Let me go upstairs. Have a quick nap. I'll be back for you. Okay? Um, she's actually my high school friend, Alice. Alice meets Maxwell, my husband's only brother. Oh, hi, Maxwell. Alice, you're welcome. Yeah, you look good. I can see that you Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, take care. Yeah. All right, see you guys later, okay? Uh, yeah. He's actually so sweet and dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> Like you want to make a call. Increase the volume so we can hear their conversations. Yes, I'm trying to get him. Hello, ma. Yes. I'm done with boat supplies. Exactly the way you said. All right, all right, all right. I'm coming. He's going to see his boss. Come on, follow him. Just follow him gently, don't overspeed. We can afford to lose him now. Go, go, go.
we have found where the bitch is hiding. Let's go back and tell the Duke. No. I think I have to use a taxi and go tell him myself. You have to stay here and keep an eye on them. You can't afford to lose them. Oh. <clears throat> I'll go instead. You know, you are the IT man here. Do your thing. Hmm? Get your conversations okay. and then I'll be back before you know it. It's alright. Where's the deal? It's already got him. Follow the car to the place you believe is the woman's home. That is good. And how about the chief? Is it working? Yes, sir. It's working perfectly. You boys have done well. Uh, tell Tolu to ensure that he gets back to me. Uh, whenever I receive that, you receive it. Huh? Yes, sir. One more thing. Let me pop it. Okay. What is it? What is it with this smile? <clears throat> well, it's nothing. <laughs> nothing. Come on, Alice. I know you. I know you and this your sinister smile. Come on, spill. I'm listening. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Well, I was just thinking, since your husband is not ready to give you a child, 
I think you can get one through him. Through who? Maxwell, your husband, younger brother. Come on, babe. God forbid. I will never commit such insects against my husband or God. No! What is girlfriend mean? What's that for? It's obvious you truly desperately do not need a child. Because if you do, you and I know Maxwell, your husband, younger brother, is the best shot for this. What is wrong with you? Is the only solution you have right now is that you have a big boy or you have a girl? Stop opening your eye like frog. Better choose one. That was amazing. I know, I know. I suddenly became tasty. But I go again. You go again? Yeah. You actually forgot you told me to remind you of your appointment by 8 a.m. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. If not that you told me now, I've forgotten. Those guys wouldn't have found it funny with me at all. Thank you. You're welcome. So, let's and dress up. I want you to take two of the boys and go and uh, get my consignment. I just got a call that it is our work. All right, Lady S, I'm on it. Lady Sharon. I should be the one doing that. Why, Nina? Let's care of the boys. James, I know that is your department, but I need you to do something very important that cannot wait. Is that okay? I understand. All right, Nina, get on with it. All right, Mom. And Kate. Yes, ma'am. Ensure that you are security conscious. All right, lady. Yeah, she mentioned the picker's name as uh, Nina, and um, uh, yes, sir. Okay, uh, but we can't wait till Jonah gets here. Okay, okay, boss. All right, I will do just that. All right. What did he say? We'll have to follow them. We'll keep tracking them while we set our location to Jonah. But no matter what happens, we must not lose them. Not got the consignment. Good. <clears throat> Let's go then and light up the street. Of course, it's Christmas.
Shoot, shoot, shoot! You have to distract them! Keep shooting! Very beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. You know, I like it when you are soft and wet. <laughs> you know, in my in my in a in a in a dumb bullshit. <laughs> when I'm done massaging you, I know. You, know? you, you I love your hand on my skin. Oh, you like it? I love it. <laughs> oh, oh. Who is that? I don't know. Oh. Who is calling? Is that called Mr. Sir? Massage me again. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. Oh, I, like I love it. Oh, <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh, oh, it's Nina. Nina? You know what was said? Lady S. Lady S, we are being attacked. What? What do you mean you're under attack? It's Nina. Oh. What happened? Some people are shooting at us. I hope nothing has happened to my package. Listen, no matter what you do, all right? Make sure that you don't lose my package. He's coming over right now. He's coming over right now. All right. Listen, you have to get the boys. Get more boys. Get more boys. They're under attack. I don't know what's going on. Make sure that you get my package and rescue Nina. Rescue Nina and my package. Oh, damn. We must lose them. Yes. We must lose them. Lady S has given an order. We have to lose them now. Okay, boss. Okay, boss. They want to play. Let's play. Yes. Let's play. How is it going? How is it going? Have you shaken them off? Good, good, good. No, 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 let's listen, listen. Don't come to the house. Take them all to the storehouse, okay? Did you hear what I said? Clifford Hodge. Clifford Hodge. Clifford Hodge. You try me. You will try me. I am the vicious viper. I will torment your dream. I will torment your dream. When I bite, I eat and I swallow. She is big, she is strong, she got the money. Monsa. Yes, Sergeant, how are you? How may I help you? Sir, there have been a gun shootout at the Ring Road this afternoon. And the only link we have currently is the plate number of the car that was used for the robbery. Well, this is good to hear. Now you're listening to me. You're going to take the plate number to FRLC. You have them chase me to the cash register. Max. Ah. 
tell you. I want to go to the mall to get some groceries for the house. Hope you don't mind going with me. Huh. You are part of my occupation. <laughs> Definitely, I'm going with you. But I want you to have one thing on the back of your mind. And what? I'll pick some things for myself and we'll foot the bill. Excuse you, I am your call to the task. I'm married to an Odogo, remember? Then sign and seal. I'm going with you, babe. <laughs> okay, I'll let you know when I'm ready. All right. Sounds good to me. Sounds very good to me. You know what? Bring the package home. <laughs> Bring it home. Huh? Good job. Good job. Good job. Uh, oh my goodness. Happy this afternoon, darling. Yes, my beautiful wife. I just sealed a very smooth and successful business transaction. Wow. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, baby. What you wanna celebrate with me? Okay, let me have a sip. You should. Uh, it's okay. It's stronger. It hurts. I know. I know. So, darling, I'll be needing some cash. Yes. I want to drive to the mall with Maxwell. To do what exactly? Get some nice things for myself, of course. And maybe buy some grocery for the house. Mm. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, well, I decided to marry. A beauty queen, I knew what I was up. 
against. But I can assure you that uh, I am committed to making you happy mm. and taking care of you. Eh? You got a role support. I'll make funds available for that. Oh, thank you so much, darling. You're happy now, huh? Yes, and we'll celebrate properly when I'm back. How do you want to celebrate? <laughs> Anyhow you want it. In the room. <laughs> Your on. wife is game. Okay, see you, darling. You have fun now. Okay. Ooh. This is good. Nina, what happened to my goods? Speak, Nina! What happened to my goods that is worth 225,000 US dollars? Speak! What happened? Lady, yes, everything happened so fast. I thought we outrunned them, but they were so organized, they were calculating. You know me, I have worked for you with so much commitment, but this happened. I don't have any excuse to say right now, I'm sorry. I should have stopped them, please forgive me. Uh, uh, Lady Sharon, you know how committed and loyal Nina has been to you. Please forgive her and tax us to go in search of this product. I am promising you here and now with my life that we are going to make this city uncomfortable for that useless idiot. Nina. Yes, ma. I am going to renege. I'm carrying out what I normally do to those who try to double cross me. Now you're going to make this right. Bring me the bastard and leave the rest to me. Understood? She ain't no fiamma. Open the door! She got the money and the power. She is the son of the city. She is big, she is strong. She got the money, she got the power. We are going to search for that idiot. Wherever he may choose to hide his ugly face, we are going to fish him out and set him on fire. All right. So, relax. Let's go. Okay. Let the let the let the X out. Let the let the X out. Ah, I see the package already, eh? Uh, you boys have done well. You have done well. Let me see. Let me see. Ah! Ah! <laughs> that's not. Oh, no, that's okay. Ah, Sharon. <laughs> ah! You have failed this time. I have defeated you. You turn in now, why? You know, I would have loved to see her face. Oh, I would have given everything to see the face of a woman defeated. Huh? Good job, boys. Good job. Huh? Thank you, Duke. She thinks that she can come to this town and pitch tent against me. The Duke of the city, the great Okosisi, that no ordinary bird can fetch her. On our one. <laughs> but she's going to learn. And she's going to learn real hard. <laughs> As for you boys, um, you have done well and you must celebrate. Yeah. Thank you, boss. I'm going to make funds available so that you can arrange uh, some of these hookup girls <laughs> that we see twerking on social media. <laughs> <laughs> eh? yeah. Yeah, boss. So that you can enjoy yourselves. Oh, you got that good? Yes, boss. Uh, Who, is that big? Big? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who is big is already big. Absolutely. Let me have the bag. Good job. If anybody try to mess with me, it's going down, down low. Don't do our job. You don't do well. See, oh, we will be Oh, fine. Well, we we'll wrap up this. Let's have a Christmas.
Wifey, wifey. What's up? Hi, Max. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm just chilling. I need some fresh air. All right. The boys called, so I need to go out and hang out with them. The boys? Yeah. So you would rather cheer with the boys than cheer with me? Come again. <laughs> don't worry, it's fine. You can go cheer with them, but don't belong. No, 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 no. If you want me to stay back, I can for you. Really? Yes. <laughs> don't bother. Just cheer with them, have fun. And... All right. Take care of yourself, okay? Be good. And Wifey. Stay out of trouble. Take five. Mm. <laughs> Wifey. Uh, why? Oh my God, he's such a pity. I think Alice was right. Maybe he can be of help. But I don't want to cheat on Clifford. I think I should concentrate on my marriage, but I think I like him already. Sir, the result from the Federal Receptive Commission is out for the plate number of the car that was used for robbery yesterday. Okay. Carry on. Uh, sir, the car is registered to Mr. Clifford Orji. What? He's right, sir. Did you say Clifford Orji? Yes, sir. Same Clifford Orji we all know. <sighs> Inspector David. Yes, sir. I need you to personally handle this operation. Okay, sir. I want Clifford Oji brought to my office as quickly as possible. Yes, sir. I'm on it right away. Move it. Thank you, sir. As you are. Detective David from the state CID, I'm here to see Clifford Oji, your boss. You're very stupid. Even though you're a police officer, does it mean you don't have manners? Huh? Does that give you the right to walk into a man's compound just like that? Like fools? Huh? You see, what I hate most is men that talk too much. You're nothing but an errand boy here. Oh. So you go in there and tell your boss Clifford Oji to come out with his hands in the air! Oh, come on, shut up. Shut your mouth. Do you know who Clifford Oji is? I don't care. Oh, I should go walk straight inside and tell my boss Clifford Oji to come and meet a riffraff like you. Who the hell are you? You will find out, son. If you are looking for a job where you are trying to employ cleaners, alright? You write some applications so we help you out. He pays good money. I want your boss! Go in there and tell him I want him! Young man, if you know what is good for you, go back to your parents. You're still a young man. I don't think they would love to see you die of this age, all right? Go back to your mommy. Is that what I'll trust or what? Oh, shut up. Okay, you want to see my boss? I want to see your boss. I'm waiting. Wait for him. Good. Oh, 
I'm sorry, sir. I think we have the wrong address. I'm sorry. Well, if that's the case, I'll have you know if it's your presence here as well to describe it. All right, sir. All right, sir. We're very sorry. What are you still waiting for? Poof! Get out of here. Got around here if you want bow to me. If you want to sell smooth, then you will come to me. But if you want to fight with me, then you're making a great mistake. Because I'll be chasing them back when I'm chasing them, kicking until you run away. Because you know I'm a mafia and I don't take bullshit. I'm a very slow person. Everybody knows it. I strike like a viper with the speed of a thunder. Before you know it, you'll be six feet under. Hey, get the info, hey. Get the info, eh? Get, get, get the info, eh? 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 Get, 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 eh? Get the info, eh? Get the info, eh? Get, get, get the info, eh? Get the info, eh? What are you doing? Yes, um, never mind. He's not the man we came to arrest. What is the one? Let's go. I just told him he's not. Let's go. With profound respect to you, sir, I am still very confused. I mean, what actually happened out there? The last thing I could remember was we agreed to go in there to have Clifford Orgy arrested and then so he could pay for his crime. But here we are back to the command without him with us. Mm. Uh, Inspector David. Sir. You know you are still new in this district. Okay, sir. Yes. Uh, we have been on this Clifford Orgy's case for decades now hmm. without success. Yes, several warrants have been signed for his arrest, all to no avail. We will get to his location, but somehow, mysteriously, we will come back without him. It might interest you to know that he is also on the radar of NDLEA. EFCC, and so on and so forth. But he keeps evading arrest. In fact, there are rumors around town that um, this very Clifford Orgy is some invisible devil. Yes. So close, but you can touch him. This is very serious. Serious I indeed. Well, sir. I am terribly sorry for today's failed operation. But I can assure you today that uh, I'm going to do everything I can within and outside my reach to bring in Clifford Orji to pay for his crime. Or I die trying. Inspector David. Sir. I like your passion. Thank you, sir. Yes. I like your zeal and your efficiency. Thank you, sir. But you know what? We don't want to lose you yet. Okay, sir. Okay? So as much as we need to get him arrested, I want you to also be very careful. I will, sir. All right? Yes, sir. Good luck. Permission to follow, sir. Carry on. My darling, so how are you doing? So tell me, have you done it or you're trying to play perfect woman to your husband? If what you're implying is about me, citizen, Max, my husband's younger brother, no, I have not. And as a matter of fact, I will not do that. For crying out loud, Alice, that boy sees me like his aunt and he has this huge respect for myself and my husband so i don't see myself doing that no it's okay my darling i understand but you mustn't forget that there are wolves and vultures out there looking for who to devolve 
their marriage. Yes, you have to trap your husband with a child or you will lose him to those home breakers. And if this happens, do not come crying to me because I will not listen to you. Trust me. I don't think anything is going to happen. I know Clifford. He loves me. And I expect him to be faithful to me forever. <laughs> He's okay, my darling. I understand. Well, um, I wish you all the best and good luck. Thank you. So, how is your husband? And hope you two are communicating since he left the country. Oh, my darling. He's fine. He's okay. We talk all the time. But Jesus Christ, the kids, oh my God. They won't stay all the way without talking to their father. <laughs> I get that. Um, yeah, th that reminds me. Have you heard what is happening to um, Sandra and her husband's sister recently? No. What's <laughs> going on with them? Tell me you don't know. My love, I think we should try Dr. Men's prescription. Even if it doesn't work, at least we don't have any pain to lose. My response to this matter will always be the same. I've told you before, as long as the doctors have declared me healthy and fit enough to get you pregnant. I'm not going to do anything out of the box. I am not going to interfere with the process of Mother Earth as she will definitely bless us with a child at the right time. Baby. You keep forgetting I'm a woman. And women have their time. I can't possibly be fertile forever, remember? Sarah gave birth at the age of 90. You can do the same. After all, you go to church, you pay tithe, and you pay your friends. The God that you serve owes you that much. Don't you ever mock God. Even if you don't want to do it, it's fine. But don't you ever mock God again. So they are good to sleep. Info A, get the info A, get the info A, get, 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 get. Is he calling? James, what's the problem? Lady Sharon, I have that little boy called Clifford OG on site. Stay there. Stay there. I'm coming right away. Okay. I'm waiting. by the car.
what I have in mind is what you are trying to do. It will not work. You are my brother's wife. And I have big respect for both of you. Tell me you don't like what you say. I like what I say, yes. But you are forbidden food. I can't eat you. You're my brother's wife, for crying out loud. Shh. I know you want me to come on with me. Oh, oh my gosh. Is the son of a devil that you told me is here? That useless boy is over there. James, are you kidding or what? Because that's on a computer building over there. So what are you talking about? You mean you can't see anybody there? No, no, I can't see anyone. Can you just stop it? Clifford Lodge is over there with his boys. There is no one there. James? Really shut do I look like a clown to you? No. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Do you understand me? Yes. Don't you ever dare. Don't you ever dare to drag me out to play pranks with me because that's what you're doing right now. Do you understand me? Yes. Shadow. Lady Shadow. I'm sure of what I'm saying. That useless idiot is over there. I can prove it to you. Where is that useless boy? Where is that boy? That's okay. Relax. Relax. Clifford. Clifford. Clifford Oji. Anna Boggy Clifford Oji. You know, for a moment past man. Less than this man. Today is going to be your last day on earth. I'm going to kill you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You can only kill what you're allowed to see. Over the You're still too little. Huh? You don't know me. My name is Clifford Oji. I am the Duke. This is my town. I run this city. And midgets like you and your boss. Just live here. I am the Oji tree, deeply rooted in Mother Earth. Nothing can approach me. Mwabingo. Clifford Oji. My friend, I don't care wherever you are rooted. You see that consignment you stole from my madam? If you don't provide that consignment you stole from my madam, in the next 59 seconds, 
consider yourself a dead man. Clifford Oji, I am going to shoot you to an extent that none of your bones will be discovered. I see that you never get tired of trying. If that weakling, that whore that you serve feels a little too scared to confront me, and who the hell do you think you are? Agents, tell your mother to leave this town. Tell her to pack up and leave. This is my town. Tell her to leave now that she still has life. Take care of this idiot. For once. <laughs> they call me Clifford or Chief. I run this town alone and not with all these such a condition. This is my town, whether you like it or not. I am the mayor. Get the info, get the info, get the info, get the info. Get the info. Get the info. Yes. Nobody's gonna mess with me. I call the shot. See around this town. If anybody try to mess with me, it's going down, down low. Now me they run this town. I'm a cabal, I'm a cribo. I'm a jukwes, and you can understand I'm a town. Hey, and nobody's gonna mess with me, else you will go down low. So get the info, eh? Hey. Get the info, eh? Hey. Get the info, eh? Hey. Get, get, get the info, eh? Hey. 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 Get the info, yeah. Get, 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 I'm God around here, God everyone around bow to me. If you wanna sell you smooth, then you will come to me. But if you wanna fight with me, then you're making a great mistake. Cause I'll be chasing them back soon and chasing them, kicking on to you. Cause you know I'm a mafia and I don't take bullshit. I'm a very slow person, everybody knows it. I start the speed of a tap that before you know it. I only want to know the reason you're sparing her life when we can easily take her out and stop her from all this madness. Why kill her when I can make her suffer? You see, when suffering is old, do not accept death. As payment. Hmm? I am going to make her suffer. I am going to make that woman suffer. But if she's wise, she is going to pack up and leave my city. Get the info, get the info. Introduction. They call me Clifford or Clifford. I run this town alone and not with all these such as conditions. This is my town, whether you like it or not. I am the mayor. Get the info, get the info. Get the
Ima i dalje li ste? My darling! My husband! My heartbeat! Or the womb! The man after my heart! My husband! The finest of them all! What is this? Her name! Okay, I will tell you. Guess what her name? What is going on? Your wife is pregnant! What? Yes, darling. Say that again. You are going to be a father, and I become a mother. <laughs> Darling, I know you cannot believe this. I am in shock. I know. <laughs> oh my God. But listen, I promise to take good care of you. Mm. I'll make all that you would need available. Okay? Yes, Alan, thank you so much. Oh my God, this is so huge. You will make it. Thank you so much, Alan. Congratulations, man. You are going to be an uncle. Yeah, I'm happy for both of you.